the LEDs for the candle project have gone through quite a lot of changes over time. So originally, you can see here quite an experimental uh, PCB, all homemade, the old DIP8 A Tiny 13, which I haven't used for a while. The flame part of it is actually a three or possibly a five millimeter LED shoved inside um, some hot glue. So yeah, not great. Until I happened upon these 5050s, which are actually three LEDs in one. So you can see the, um, the pads there for um, VCC and ground. So the possibility of altering them independently from the, um, from the PCB and, uh, and then going out to uh, the 5050, which is you know, all in, uh, encased inside of Fresnel, so uh, to diffuse it. So this is how they're made. You can see the, uh, the little 5050. I'm just going to, uh, to test it. I've actually speeded this video up uh, so it is double speed. So that's why I'm moving so fast. Um, this is a little tedious actually in the end. So uh, I'm just trying the different LEDs. Um, so you can see there that it's spotted it as a capacitor. So it's not a good connection. But uh, eventually, yep, it is actually a... Um, an LED and uh, it shows the direction so I know which way is ground so I'm just going to put it into the alligator clip there and uh, yeah add a little bit of solder and uh, and then attach the ground lead all across all three pads so ground will uh, will go out from all of those independently um, operated LEDs inside but out through common ground so there it is I right, just turn that around and now I've only got two of the red leads there and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach one uh, lead to one of the pads and that will be my fast flicker LED and then the other one will be attached to the other two pads so um, that's going to affect two LEDs at once and that'll be the slow flicker so that'll, that'll provide the, the steady flame if you like and then the the, uh, the fast flicker will be the um, you know the variation which allows for a little bit more life in the actual uh, in the actual flame okay so then what we need to do is to uh, just test it and make sure that all those connections are still good so yep no problem and now I'm going to put a little bit of shrink wrap over the three leads and then just alter them so it's all a bit squared away. And then uh, flame that. There it is. A little bit of flame, a little bit of shrinkage. All good. Now some hot glue, just around the, uh, the inside there to give a bit of structural integrity. And now I'm going to fill up the uh, the Fresnel lens with some hot glue as well. And then, yeah, you get um, probably about 30 seconds in a Tasmanian winter to uh, to put that in before it all closes over. Yeah, a little bit of hot glue down the bottom. And that's it. Then I just usually stand it up in my beat up old breadboard. Complete with uh, air gun, hot air gun melted. Give it authenticity. Until it, um, it solidifies. So there it is. So... This is um, the actual board itself, which uh, you've seen on previous blogs. This one hasn't got a Fresnel lens over the top of it, but that's essentially what we're looking at. So that's just a 5050 attached to the fast and slow ramps of the board. So I'm just going to test it with a, a single AA battery. And 
I think we'll find in this light that we can't see an awful lot. This this uh, candle isn't that impressive in strong light. In fact, it's pretty hard to even tell that it's on. So I'm just going to douse the uh, the light. There you go. Even then, you can't really see the variation. Oh, maybe just a little bit. So there is a uh, a pot, trim pot, on the other side. So adjusting it up and down um, allows for a stronger or weaker light. I actually find that the uh, the weaker light when it's adjusted down is actually um, a lot better flame. But the higher light is uh, all the more intense light is nicer if you need to fill up a full room. So yeah, that's it. That's the circuit working. It um, doesn't really do it justice uh, until you see it live. Um, this is actually slowed down a little bit just to show the variation. But yeah, that's the uh, the 5050. Very useful LED for this project.